Welcome back to another shotcut tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at transitions and crossfades between uh, different images and also between uh, video clips. And so I'm going to drag down first just left click and drag a couple of these down into my timeline. These are just a few images and then also we're going to do just some video clips here and I'll resize my video so they're about the same length as the images. And I'm leaving just being a a little sloppy here, just leaving some gaps in between. That's okay, because it actually helps us illustrate um, something for these transitions. So to do a transition, what we have to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the timeline. To actually do a transition, we need to just, there's no filter, there's nothing we can add in the transitions. There's no actual transition to drag and drop on top of a, a clip or something. Uh, instead, what we have to do is actually overlap two clips, and it'll create a transition. But it's not doing it. If there's a gap in between, it won't do it. Because if there's a gap in between, the program thinks that we're, we're trying to move them close together and we're accidentally overlapping a little bit. So it thinks that's an error. So we have to actually get rid of that gap first. So if there's no gap in between and two clips are touching each other, then we can left click the, the clip that's in front. And however far we overlap it, it'll create this little cross, this little X. And we can it, that's then like a... Uh, little dissolve transition and it's also an audio crossfade if you have audio so like these ones I can move this over here make them right next to each other right now it's just a hard cut from one to the other the audio is kinda it's kind of a loud hard cut with the audio and the, the video just cuts over so if we drag this one over top again however long we want the transition to be maybe a really long transition we leave a big gap there and it will slowly transition the audio It'll crossfade the audio and dissolve the video over top of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if we want to make changes to this, under properties is where we do that. So it's not under filters. While the uh, that X transition box is selected, um, whether or not we're, the playhead is over it, but while it's selected, if we click on properties, we have some different ways we can change. Like instead of doing a dissolve, we can do this barn door horizontal and that'll do something different. So that kind of comes in from the sides. We can change it to be like this iris box. So we can change different transitions. Another way to get rid, so now if we move this to, um, it'll move all of it together. So the clip in front, if we move it, it actually moves the transition and the clip that it's attached to. Um, another way to get rid of the, this gap here, we can just right click and click on remove. And that'll actually get rid of a, a gap. So we could, these ones, we can right-click on the gap here, and it'll re remove it, and kind of uh, it's like a, kind of like the ripple delete. It just brings everything in, all the other clips. So now we have no gaps here. Also, to do the transition, it has to be the clip in front. So that if we want to have a transition between this image and this image, the whatever clip is in front has to be overlapped over top of the one behind it. If we try to overlap the one in front, so this one, we try and drag it over top, it just, it'll just move the whole timeline that direction. So we have to drag the one in front over top of it. Does that make sense? So now we have a fade there. And we'll have a fade there. And again, we can change all of those. This one doesn't have a transition yet. This is just a hard cut from the picture to the video. So we can do this one too. And then this one's the same way. So this one's not going to have very much. <laughs> and then we can just get rid of this by right-clicking and going remove that space there. So now we have a bunch of transitions. Most of them are going to be the dissolve. There's also some options for the hardness. Is like if we want it to just how... Oh, can we do... We can't do it on that one. But like on the vertical bars, the hardness is like if it's a hard line, it'll just be like that if we have it all the way down to zero. So I guess 100% is how, how hard and soft it is. So this will be a hard line when it's to zero. See, it's like a straight line just cutting down as opposed to being like soft like this. So se different transitions have different settings you can adjust. Actually, I think it might just be the softness on all of these ones. Yeah. Anyway, so let's change a couple different... Uh, we'll just randomly select a few transitions here. And... Um, Change this one too. Should do that. And here we have it. So we'll play and look what our 
look what our project looks like. We have some transitions overlapping. We still have our audio, but our audio crossfades between each clip. And that is basically it. That's using transitions in Shotcut. Hopefully this helped you. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave your questions or comments below if you have any. And I'll catch you in the next video.